All right, hey guys, welcome back to another solo video. Uh, so today we're gonna be playing a game that I just got called Corrosion. It's a game that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Um, it's really just kind of a beat your own score, like see how many points you can get kind of game. Um, but it's it's basically a j big giant puzzle, and uh, I really really enjoy that. So uh, the kind of the premise of the game is that you are an engineer, you, you're engineers, and you basically have all these engineers you send out to work to do stuff. Uh, they can make you gears, and then you use the gears to make machines, and then the machines are what scores you points. It's kind of the gist of it. In the solo v uh, version of the game, you go against this bot that will kind of emulate actions of a second player, and so you kind of have to work around that in order to score the amount of points uh, you can kind of do. So um, this basically kind of tells you how, how the game runs. Uh, so on your turn, you do a maintenance action. I mean, you can do maintenance actions. You have a main action, you maintenance action, and you end your turn. Now. Uh, maintenance actions are these, uh, or I'm sorry, maintenance is secondary actions. Secondary actions are either completing machines or performing extra steam actions. Let's explain that in a minute. Or, and then, so you can do that, or clear sector X, which I'll explain in a moment again. And then your main action, you can either play a card um, or turn your machine 90 degrees. And so you have this uh, machine here that as you turn it, oh, let me move this off the screen. As you turn this, um, depending on what you got going on, you'll activate stuff. And so, um, but as you turn the wheel, anything that's in these sections where the X is, after you've resolved it, go away. So you, you, you're gonna, we're gonna build up the gears to bot to make these machines, but we have to use them within a certain amount of time, or we end up losing the gears and they just kind of go away. Uh, to play it, we have these engineers to play. They get to, they get to do us effects. And depending on the number is the spot you place them in. So after you uh, place them in their spot and then you, the X ends up coming around to where they are, they come back to your hand, you get to use them again. Um, so that's uh, kind of the gist of the game. Uh, the steam action, so we get to start the game out with one steam and two water. Uh, so we can do things to turn the water into steam. And steam will let us do two things. One, it will let us take one of the items in one of the spots and move it to uh, counterclockwise 90 degrees. So if we have a worker that's in two, for instance, that I've played this and it goes in two, and then I spend a steam, it'll go to one. And then when I turn the wheel, I'll get to grab an extra turn early, essentially. Uh, it'll also work the same for uh, some of these things, which I'll explain those as the game kind of goes on. Or you can use it to clear out something from the third row. Uh, it'll, it'll all start kind of making sense as we're going. Um, at the beginning of the game, we get to start off with three points, um, a chrome gear, which these do not go away, and then a small and a medium gear, which, like I said, once this comes all the way around, and if these aren't unspent, we just lose them. Um, so there's that, uh, and kind of the, the goal of the game is to get a bunch of points, and so to do so, we're gonna have to build these chrome machines here, which the chrome gears are made for, and they will give us various effects. Up here are additional scoring metrics that will come and play as they do. Um, uh, these here are uh, turning machines. So basically once I actually draft one, it ends up in the, th in the third spot, wherever the three is. And every time we turn the wheel, we get the effect. In this case, it would be to uh, turn a water into steam. Uh, these are these like kind of uh, Simple machines, I think, is what they're called. But these machines, uh, there's a, a requirement to, to, to create them. So this is like three small gears. And then once you create them, uh, when it when it rolls around to the side that they're on, so again, you place them in three spots. You've got a few turns to get to it. When it clears, you get the effect. So in this case, I'd get either one green or silver victory point token, and then two per different uh, one of these machines in play. Um, and uh, the, the main difference between the, oh, this is all wrong way. Okay, the main difference between um, these and these is that in multiplayer, these are used as part of a, a end game metric, scoring metric, that like once they run out, it kind of triggers the end game. And I don't think these can be redeemed. You can't, you, you can't throw these away to do stuff and where that you can with these. So. Uh, anywho, this this is the road to let us draft more engineers, and then like I said, these are the machines here. And the way that the um, Otama works is that 
there will be a letter A B or C A B C or D here. Uh, we'll flip the card. There will be an action for it. We actually flip two cards. There will be an action for it, and then we follow the column. And then in some cases where there's an arrow, it'll for the Chrome machines, it, up or down depends on takes that one. So it kind of just runs through them for us. Um, and then um, one of the things we can do is also copy the ability of a um, card that an opponent plays in a typical game, but in this case, it's gonna be the, ro the, the, the bot. And to do that, we have to play the same color, but just a higher number. And so that's where that's gonna come and play. It's important to grab some of these cards because they're gonna be bigger numbers. Um, and this is gonna be kind of glary there, but that's okay. So I am gonna just kind of put these out down here and we can kind of see what my hand is, although maybe you really can't see it. So I guess we'll just kind of see what we can do. Okay, so we're gonna start the game off by doing this. This creates our discard pile. So whenever uh, we do something, we're gonna do the action it says. So she'll just take, in this case, we're not doing it, but normally she would take uh, one of these machines and in this spot, it's the A, because this is the A column. She would take that one and go to the discard pile. And then if I had a three, a blue three, I could play that, ignore what the blue three says, like this one. If I had this in my hand, for instance, on the turn she plays this, I can play this, ignore this ability to copy this ability. It basically gives me an action on my another player's turn. So that's, we need to do is maximize actions. Um, so let's all get started here. So we've got our three gears that we start off with, our small, our medium, and our chrome. We've got our three money. Uh, the money is used also to, we can spend the money to recruit, a, we have to recruit a four or four plus. We have to um, take a, uh, reduce uh, steam to water and spend a victory point to get that. Um, or at the end of the game, we can spend one point to do another round, spend two points to do a second round and so on and so forth. So if we need to extend the game out just a tad bit, we can kind of buy our way up to it. Um, so anyway, so let's kind of just kind of jump into this here. And speaking of which, I'm actually gonna grab that that one there. So we're gonna play this um, orange engineer here. That's a three, and we're gonna get to recruit uh, another engineer. So it's a three, it's gonna go in the three spot over here. Uh, we're gonna spend the steam and spend our victory point to get this. This is a rainbow four plus. So I can basically use this to copy anyone that the, uh, the bot plays out. And then when we refill, we will slide down and refill from the top of the stack. And everything is face up so you can see what's next. Um, but that goes straight to the hand. And then now it's gonna be the bot's turn. So we're gonna play the top two cards. So she's gonna take um, one, of the, 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 one of these machines here and from the C slot, because the C's here, and it's gonna take that. It's just gonna go in this slot here. Everything's gonna move down. And then now I can choose to copy it if I'd like. And I could copy it with this, and I'm actually going to copy it with this. So I'm gonna play this to copy it. Um, now you can see it has a four, and four is not, I mean four is here. Um, but how that works, it actually goes face down in the four slot, and then when we rotate the wheel, we'll flip it and then get it back later on. It's so that we don't accidentally put it here and then take it back when we shouldn't. So we're gonna put that face down, um, and we're gonna copy this. I'm gonna get, to get one of these uh, here, and I'm actually gonna use it to take, I think I'm gonna use it to take this. So this, every time the wheel turns, we're gonna to get to um, turn one of our water into steam. So it's gonna go there. This will come down and come down, and now it's our turn. All right. So let's kind of get, the, the, the big thing is like getting these chrome machines to get these points. And so these are these, uh, they're like, these are the easier of the chrome machines and these are the harder ones. They're worth more points, but they cost more to make. Um, so yeah, let's try to grab one of those. So we're gonna go ahead and play this. This will go in our three slot again, and let's grab a Chrome machine. And I think what I wanna do is actually get this. And any points on top of it we get to take, so we get that. And this is the Chrome machine, so it's gonna cost three Chrome, two medium, and two small. And then it says, but when we actually create it, uh, completing machines is minus two small cheaper. So it'll make things easier uh, in the end in the run. So we get to store them here until they're made, and then we'll flip them over and place them in the correct spot. We'll move this down. If one of the ones that is not in the, if one of the A or B ones are taken, then we remove it and then uh, we'll put another point there. So it's basically to make those more enticing uh, as time goes on. So anywho, all right, we've done that. Let's go ahead and do the next turn for the bot. 
uh, they're gonna do they're gonna turn uh, water into steam but in this case they really don't have any so that's not gonna that's not an effect they have to take or that, that they do take so in this case I'm also gonna play this to draft another one of these which will be uh, this one so I can spend a small uh, or a medium gear and a, and a steam to make a chrome gear all right we're gonna move that down we're gonna move this down We'll do another turn from the bot here. They're gonna take a chrome machine. It's gonna be A, and then it's gonna be A from down here. So we're gonna take this one. I'm gonna flip that over and take it out. And then because they didn't take uh, the C one, we're gonna add another point there. Okay, next, what I think I'm gonna do is I need to make I need to make some stuff. So we're gonna do this. I'm going to make a medium gear. We're gonna play another turn here. They're going to draft the C one, so it's just gonna pull it out, send it to this card pile. Um, and I'm actually going to, I'm trying to think. I wanna wait on this. I may do this to get some steam. So let's do this and we'll make two steam. We'll do the uh, bots next turn. They're gonna take the A uh, simple machine there Place it with that one. Okay, now I'm gonna spend my action to turn the wheel. So we're gonna turn the wheel. And in doing so, we get to activate all our turn effects. So the first one is we're gonna take, a, we're gonna get a uh, steam here. And then you can't see it because I blocked it off, but we're gonna do this one. So we're gonna spend a gear, spend a steam and create a chrome gear. So we've got that, that one's gone back to the supply. And then because we're on the X, we're gonna clear this off and get this back. Uh, we can't build this yet, so we're going to have to wait on that. But then we are going to uh, end the turn. We're going to do this again. They're going to take the C1 again. Move that down. All right. Um, I'm going to turn the wheel again. Oh, I gotta, let me flip this over because now I've turned the wheel. So I'm going to turn the wheel again. In doing so, we're going to gain a steam. And I'm going to spend a steam in one of my gears to get a chrome gear. So we've got our three chrome gears. We're good to go there. And um, we're gonna get these two back. And then it's gonna be the bot's turn again. They're gonna take the B one here. And I'm gonna drop it because basically that's how I live my life. All right, so we've done that. <clears throat> so we've got our Chrome gears. So now I need to get some other stuff. So we're gonna play this one here for one and now the one is marked here so we're going to put it here so then when we clear again it'll pull them all up we're going to get a small uh gear from that and that's going to go in the three spot there we're going to flip the next two over they're going to take the bottom b gear here we're going to slide that slide that they're going to get a point and i'm kind of worried that i'm not taking the best approach here um you know what that's okay so actually, let's do this. Let's spend. Mm, I'm going to spend a steam to move this to, uh, counterclockwise to this space. And now it's in the space. So it's clear. It's like to take it back. And, and then I'm going to play it again. And I'm going to get a uh, medium gear. And I'm going to spend my other steam to send it back here to go back to my hand. And then we're going to end the turn. And now there's only one card, so we're going to shuffle. And keeping track of the bot, basically, we're going to do her uh, deal four times. So we've ran through the deck once, but we're going to run through it four times here. And uh, when this uh, machine makes its way all the way around, we get to activate all the effects here. And, uh, you know, that'll, that'll be that when we, that comes around. So, anywho, let's go ahead and do this. We'll flip the top one over. They're gonna gain a gear. I'm actually gonna spend a two to uh, gain a gear as well. So that's gonna come out there. Then what we're gonna do is, before we do anything, we're gonna spend our um, three chrome, our two medium, and our two small to complete this machine. And so anytime we build anything, that it's minus two um, small gears to make. Then, what do we want to do here? 
let's go ahead and play this for one. We'll get a gear. It doesn't really matter what it is. We're going to do that. We're going to flip this over. They're going to take this one, and they don't get any points. They just deny me the points. So it's going to slide this over. That'll go there, and the rest will go to the supply. We're going to now turn our machine. So we're going to turn our machine. It's going to create a steam. We're going to spend the steam and spend this to get a chrome gear. And then we're going to clear everything off. These get cleared, and these go back to the hand. So these go discarded. These go back to the hand, and then we're going to uh, end the turn. They're going to get a thing here. I'm actually going to spend, ooh, I want to get another chrome gear here, but I'd like to have, the thing is when we turn, we'll get, a, we'll get at least one gear, but I kind of need some stuff to generate some gears for me. So the question is, I suppose, I don't need the gear now, so I'm going to let it go. Um, we are going to, however, draft, and I don't really want any of those guys, to be honest with you, either. Um, let's see. Heck, let's make some points. Okay, we're going to play this one. It's going to go to the three. We're going to get this machine. So this machine requires three chrome gears, and it's going to require two small gear, three small gears. However... We only have to spend one, and when we complete it, we will be able to spend it uh, whenever we turn, and there are, what is it? It's always kind of confusing for me. Whenever we, um, so if there are at least two grade two engineers in Sector X, I can consume a steam and gain three points. So uh, we're going to have to build that one out, which will be fine. Um, but we got that one. That's going to come out here. we got to put another point on this one. We'll play this. Um, they're going to take the B one here, and actually I'm going to play my engineer here to get one of these, and I'm also going to get this. So let's go to the three spot, and again, when we rotate, we'll get a gear for that. Um, okay, now the question is, what do I want here? That might not have been the right move. Let's do this. We do need, we're going to need some stuff. So I'm going to play this too to get, this. So when we complete this, it's going to, we can spend a water and we'll get to uh, get two chrome gears for free. Because I have this and this is a requirement, I can actually just spend the water when I get the steam and flip it and then we'll, we'll, we'll get it for free which is great. Okay. They're going to take the B1 here. Let's move this down. Let's go ahead and rotate this. Since we rotated, we're going to gain a uh, medium gear. That's going to go to three. Uh, we get to activate all these effects. So this gives us a small gear. This gives us a steam and it gives us one uh, silver point. We're going to get these back. Now, I'm going to spend my steam to activate this machine. So whenever it comes up there, we'll get our two and then we'll have, we'll just need one more and we can make this and we'll be good to go there. Let's go ahead and play the next card here. They're gonna draft this one. And in fact, I'm going to, ooh, hold on. I'm going to copy that. And I'm gonna grab, I think I'm gonna grab that one. So this will let us make this will let us make uh, three steam. Which I really want this one to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna play this to make the three steam. So we've got three steam here. Then I'm going to spend two of my steam to rotate this one here, and then one here again. And then because it's in the X thing, I get to redeem it and get two chrome gears. And then I'm going to spend my two chrome gears and my one small gear to activate this machine. So again, whenever we clear out, it's um, whenever there are at least two grade twos in your sector X, you may consume a steam to gain three points. So when we rotate this again, 
uh, there will only be one here, so I need to get a second one over here, and we'll do that in a moment. I'll show you how. Okay, so we've got that here. They're not going to do anything with that. We're going to play this there to get one of these, which will be, let's get a Steam one, because we might as well. And um, at the end of the game, for every two Chrome Gears you have, you can redeem it for a point. I'm going to spend my Steam to move this here. We're going to end the turn. Uh, they're going to do steam. We don't have we don't have any of that we want to do. And then we're going to rotate. We're going to actually spend our turn to rotate this. This is going to flip over. We're going to gain a steam. We're going to gain a uh, medium gear. These are going to come back. And then we're going to so we we redeem two. We're going to spend the steam to get three points, which will put us at five total now. Then. Oh, I need to move this down, sorry. And I guess we're gonna end the turn. They're gonna get this guy, which is the one I wanted. A gal, I guess, they're all women, so. Okay. Uh, so we need to start trying to get these scoring metrics here. So there's all these different scoring tiles, and if we get the first one, we get a bonus. Um, so this one is uh, gain three points for each set of that consists of one completed and one uncompleted chrome machine regardless of type which i don't know that i'll necessarily have this one is going to be uh, choose one suit and gain two points from each qualified engineer you have of that suit including wild engineers i think they only count once um and then we have this which is gain four points for each set uh you have that consists of three qualified engineers of different suits only one wild suit counts. So four points for each set of consisting of three qualified engineers in different suits. So I think that means they just have to be the same number maybe. Um, I'll have to double check that. Does that mean there's got to be something in here for these points. Yeah, I don't know. Gain four points for each set you have consisting of three qualified and nearest different suits. Yeah, I think they have to be the same value. That's okay. Okay, Um, what was I doing? They're going to start the next round, so we're almost halfway done with the game. And I don't feel like I've got a lot of stuff going on. So, I need to make some more Chrome Boys, but I do also need to get some scoring going. So, let's go ahead and play the two here, and then we're going to grab this. Here, so this will let us get one of those tiles. We have to just make two chrome. I'm sorry. We just have to make two small, two medium, and uh, discard one qualified engineer, which are the ones from here. They have the hats. And uh, to, to get that. So we're going to play that there. Shift this down. Uh, we'll do the bots next turn. So it's going to flip. They're going to get another water to indicate the end of that round. I would go for the other thing, and maybe I will towards the end. So you can complete, you can draft a uh, chrome gear or chrome machine, but not complete it by drafting another one, and it just goes on top. So maybe I can grab one of these and then draft a bunch of them, and then get that bonus to get get that. I think that's probably what I'm doing, honestly. Um, okay, that's probably what I ended up doing, but that's we'll, we'll figure that out as the game goes on. All right, so we are going to. Rotate them now. We're gonna rotate the machine. <sighs> Decisions to make. So I want some steam. So we're gonna do this to get some steam up. Then we're gonna rotate next turn. But I think, yeah, we're gonna rotate next turn. Okay. We're gonna do these two. They're gonna take the third one here, the C one. There's that. Um, we're going to go ahead and rotate our machine. So in doing so, we're going to get a medium gear. So go to three. We're going to get a steam. And we're going to get these back. And this is going to go away. And then, I don't have it. We're going to wait next turn. Okay. We're going to do this. They're going to draft this one here. Let's slide these down. It will be our turn. I'm going to draft one here. So actually, I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend one of my uh, one of my green tokens and a steam to get this four. 
So this is just a four that lets me get a chrome machine. Oh, that always gets me a chrome gear. So we might want that one too. Okay, we'll play another card here. They're gonna take uh, the B from this one. Okay, so we're gonna grab, and I think the one that we should get is, we, we need to get one that's gonna be easy to make. And I think actually, huh, this, this one's worth six. This one's also worth six and should be relatively easy to make. Um, so I'm gonna grab that one actually. So we're gonna play this three. We'll grab this one. Uh, this is uh, whenever we turn the turn the thing as a main action, we can spend, what is this two? We can spend one steam probably to get back a one. I think we, let me see here. Uh, at the end of your turn, you may consume a steam to, to your corrosion will proceed the same way. However, Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. At the end of your turn, you can to play one engineer from your hand. Oh! So basically, lets us get two actions, which is great. Oh, we need to put this here. So we're going to need to get some, we need to get some chrome machine, the uh, chrome gears. It's going to move down. Okay. So they're going to do that. We are going to... I'm torn. We are going to do the two to get this. And then I'm going to spend I'm gonna I'm gonna discard this and spend my two two of these uh, medium gears to flip this over. And so we'll get a scoring tile uh, when the time comes around. We're gonna turn. They're gonna increase those two. We are going to uh, turn the wheel again. In doing so, we're gonna get a steam. We're also gonna spend a steam and a gear to get a chrome gear. Um, we're going to get these back. And in doing so, because we got two twos, we're gonna spend this to get three points. Uh, this is gone. And then, Oh, I guess I could have discarded that qualified engineer instead. Um, but that's okay. And then uh, that's all we can really do here. And I'm going to end the turn. Okay, we're going to play this one to uh, get a medium gear here. We're going to do this. They're going to recruit this one. I want this. So we're gonna, oh, I can't get that yet, darn it. Can I move something over? I cannot. I don't have enough steam. We're gonna play this to get two steam and I'm gonna spend two steam to move this all the way around to get it back and spend the third steam to move this here. And then we're gonna flip two. They're gonna take this one and then we're going to, on our turn, play this one to draft this, which will be great because we'll just get a chrome for free and it's a two. And then we're gonna do this. All right. All right, we're fine, starting the final round here. And I don't feel like I got any kind of points, but we're getting ready to get a bunch of stuff. So it's, it's gonna work out. They're gonna play this. They're gonna take this one. And we can't do anything about it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is rotate the machine. We're going to, um, no, we're not gonna rotate the machine. I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna play this first to get our steam here. And then we're gonna end the turn and then we're gonna rotate the machine. So they're gonna take this one to get this. Now we're gonna rotate the machine. So we're rotating the machine. In doing so, we're gonna spend a steam and spend this to get a chrome machine, or chrome gear, sorry. We are going to get a small gear because we, we've reached around all the way around. 
and we're going to get a uh, silver point there. We're going to get that, and that's going to get us one of these. So actually, we're going to end up getting this one. So again, it's gain three points for each set of that consists of a one completed and one uncompleted chrome machine, regardless of type. And we're going to get four points. So let's go ahead and get that, and we'll swap it out with that. And then we're going to uh, redeem these ones. And then in doing so, we're going to spend the steam because there's two twos there to get three more points. And then um, so the thing is right now is that I need two chrome gears. No, I need one chrome gear and I need two medium gears to get this. And then I'm going to just uh, end up recruiting these to just fill this out and then I can get this and then we can try to see what we get at the end. So we're gonna they're gonna do that one. Um, I'm going to play this in the four spot to copy it to get my two steam. We're gonna play this to do the uh, chrome gear. So now we just need the two medium gears. Um, okay. We're gonna play uh, this one to get the medium gear. And then I'm gonna spend a steam to move it to the X to get it back to my hand. We're gonna do this. They're gonna take this one. Actually, I think I kinda of want that too. Just three points for free. We're gonna play this again at here to get the medium gear. And then we're gonna spend our three chrome gears and our two medium gears to complete this. And so then I, I can spend a thing to play another card. So this will be great because I can every time I turn the wheel, I'll be able to play another card as well. So it'll just it'll work out for, for getting stuff going here. Uh, they're going to take a gear, but they don't have a gear to take. I'm gonna play this to copy them to get a uh, medium gear. Okay, so we need some more points here. So I think what I'm gonna do next is play this two to draft this one. So this here is gonna be, um, when I complete it and it comes around, I get three green points and I get, I get one st uh, additional steam, uh, which will be good because it'll just help work with this engine here. Um, we're gonna play two cards from here. They're gonna draft this one here. They didn't take any of the uh, other ones. Okay, so now what I need to do is, I need to rotate the machine. It's gonna flip this. We're gonna spend our small gear and a steam to get a chrome gear. Um, we're gonna re rec recall these. I'm gonna get rid of this. And then, because I uh, did that, I can spend the steam to play a card. So I'm gonna play this card uh, to get one of these. I gotta think about this strategically because when I cover them, I lose the effect. So it's just gonna probably be this because I won't get points for it either. So I'm gonna get this one just so I can maximize uh, the points I can possibly get. And I gotta time it up so that it's like I'm taking towards the end. So I still have um, some points to be had. So we're gonna do this here. They're gonna take this Chrome machine and then this is gonna go up here. And this is the same type, so I don't want that one. Um, let's, I need to complete that. So I need to get some, some, um, we're gonna play this to get a medium gear. And then I'm gonna spend my two medium gears, because I've got two now, to activate this, because this is still minus two, so this will flip. So there's that. Uh, we're gonna end the turn. They're gonna take the top chrome one there. Okay, so basically they ha we're gonna spend some turns to get some points. And I think that's ultimately what we're gonna have to do. So we are going to turn this one more time. Uh, we're gonna get all these back. And because, oh, I don't have any steam though. So I'm not gonna be able to convert it to points. Darn it. Um, that's okay. We're gonna do this. They're gonna get one more turn. They're gonna finish this off. All right, this is it. I gotta see if I can make enough points here.
I doubt it, but we'll see what we can do here. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna play this three to copy them to give me two steam, and then we'll get a secondary phase. So I'm gonna spend that one steam to move this over. It's gonna give us a steam and three points. And I'm gonna take out singles because actually I'm gonna take out these two. So that's gonna go there. This is gonna be your move. Now the question is. Um, I'm going to spend one to do another turn. Um, I can move those around. So I'm going to spend two of my steam to move this all the way back up here. And I'm going to play this card at three. We're going to get, and it's going to put this one, it's going to cover this. And we're going to get this here. I'm going to get the three points there. This will move down. This will move over. We're going to replenish it with this. We'll do another turn for the AI. She'll draft this one. This will come out. The question is, do I want to do anything else or can I do anything else to get this back? Or will it be worth getting? Because I'm going to get three points for each uh, set that I have completed or not. And so I think I, think I will. So I'm going to spend two more points to do another turn. I'm going to play the three here to bump up three of these. And then on my on my uh, secondary thing, I'm gonna move. Wait, did I play this right? Or did I go the wrong way? No, I did it right. Yeah, so I did that. And I'm gonna spend three to go one, two, three. This will go to my hand. They'll do another turn. They'll take this Chrome machine here. Um, but that's okay. And then we're going to spend three points. So I can play this to get, this will go here, to get this one, to get this point here. And then they'll do their turn. And we can copy them, but we're not going to. And I'm going to end the, I'm going to, we're just going to end it there. So I'm going to end it there. So I've got my three completed set here. So let's count up our points here. I have to make 50. So the scoring guide, this is the scoring here. So uh, less than 30, eh, 30 plus seems to be a little rusty. Try again. 50 is what I'm looking for, at least 50. So let's see if we did it. So we had five, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And then we get points for a completed one. So 22, 32, 38. And then we get um, three per set. So 38 plus nine, because I get three for each one. 38 plus nine is 47. So we only got 47 points. So we were close, but we didn't win. Um, had I had a little bit more time, and maybe I could have spent more, I just wouldn't have had time to set up to get one of these. So, but anyway, that's going to be the game. That's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, I really enjoy this game, and it's basically just a big puzzle to see how many points you can get. And uh, yeah, I'm not very good at it, <laughs> but it is a lot of fun. So that's Corrosion. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know down below if you if you've ever heard of this game. If you've played it, what you think of it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.